Hey, this is the Shadow Mantis, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we did a couple of things around Kakariko Village, and we actually climbed up Death Mountain. And here we are at the at the tip of Death Mountain. Well, not really the tip. Uh, around the top of Death Mountain. And, uh, well, let's just go see Big Brother, as people have been calling him, who has the spiritual stone. Let's talk to you. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived. But you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures called the Dodongos have enter the Dodongo's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers, starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. You seem pretty grumpy. All right, so they don't need any help, but um, maybe we can cheer them up with a cheery tune, eh? Oh. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hot. What a hot beat. Whoa. Yeah. Yahoo. Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I'm Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire, too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you just that. Like that. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monster inside of Dodongo's cavern and prove yourself a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you, but I'm not going to really... I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyways. If you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick up a, a bomb flower using the A button. The long line of text. I think this is probably going to be the last episode I record for a while. I'm having a little trouble keeping up with the text in this game. It's not that it's difficult or anything, it's just that I'm tired. Yeah, I re if you've uh, been with me, I guess, for a while, you know that um, I, I record in sessions. I record like five or six episodes at a time. That's how, that's just how I do it, so eventually at the end I'm just like, ugh, my voice is starting hurt a little. So, what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to go get another heart piece. Only one. But, uh, it's, it's still one, so. Oh, jeez. What am I doing? So, basically, just take this bomb flower and throw it. Oh. Oh, that was bad. Let's go back up there. Basically what we're trying to do is that now spinning statue, what we want to do is take a bomb flower and throw it into the hole in the statue and blow it up. Yeah. We're blowing up the Goron's monument. Uh, not the greatest thing to do when they're in a bad mood. But, um, yeah, this is actually a pretty difficult heart piece to get just because of how annoying it is. So I think I'm actually going to cut to me getting it. Just because of like the throwing arc of this bomb flower, it's pretty annoying. So I'll see you when I get it. 
Alright, so now that I've gotten a bomb into the hole, hopefully the face that comes up is a happy face. It's not. It has to be a happy face. So yeah, not only do you have to throw a bomb in there, you have to have the face of the statue be a happy face, or else you don't get it. So let's cut to me getting another bomb in that hole. Oh jeez, this is going to be a great day, isn't it? Happy face, happy face, happy face. It's happy, happy, happy. Come on, be a happy face. Oh no, it's angry face again. Yes, happy face, there we go. So along with a couple of rupees, we get a heart piece. Heart piece number five right there. Just throw the bomb into the hole of the statue after you've lit it up and it's spinning. It's not that difficult of a heart piece to get, but it takes time, that's for sure. So just go in, in here if you want to get up. You gotta climb all the way up. It's not really that big a problem, but uh, you know, this is a really nice area. I really like the Goran City. It's just a cool, you know, place. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain my love for this game. It's just, I love it. I love it a lot. So now, there is a boulder down there by Dodongo's Cavern. You're gonna want to throw a bomb down there. Hopefully blow it up like I did. And, uh, you know what? Why not? No, stop. No, God. Uh, throw it away and backflip. You know what? I could get that heart piece right here because that's actually how you glitch into getting it. But I'm gonna. I, I really could just go get this heart piece right now. Backflip and get it. But you're not supposed to get it right now, so I'm not going to. That, that is that is a way you can glitch and get that heart piece. But right now, we are in the second dungeon. Just take that bomb flower, throw it in there, and there we go. Dodongo's Cavern. This is a really cool dungeon. Ugh. Do you have to interrupt me every time? I know it's lava. Isn't it? it? It's so just obvious. It is lava. I don't care, Navi. I don't care. So this is a really cool dungeon, and I really, I really like this dungeon. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go from side to side in this dungeon. Uh, you're going to go through the right side of the dungeon, and then the left side of the dungeon. And, uh... That's basically just how it's gonna go. It's like, there's two wings of the dungeon. And you go through, like, that circle of wing of rooms in there. Here we have baby Dodongos. They're, they're really annoying. Not very interesting either. So just bring one of them over here. Blow it up right in front of that little wall right there. And it'll blow up our way into a door and enter there and uh... well first of all kill those bats and here is our fifteenth golden skulltula coin with two more to come in this dungeon so let's just continue on don't get hit by any of these baby dodongos and uh... Yeah, let's just grab one of these things, whatever that is. It's a statue. I can tell. You know, I'm not stupid. It's a statue, I know. Alright, so let's just head into this room right here. And uh, already we're going to be facing a mini boss. That's right. Already we're facing a mini boss. This is, I'm pretty sure it's Liz Alphos, but basically, you're just gonna hit him, and then duck, 
uh, with the Hylian Shield. Make sure you equip the Hylian Shield in this dungeon, or else it will burn away. There will be a point where you'll you'll you will fall into lava because I do it many times, and the high and the uh, Deku Shield will just go away. It can be really annoying at times. Oh, just get over here. So, yeah, really important that you wear the Hylian Shield in this dungeon. Now this this mini boss right here pretty easy to beat. You just hit him and then duck. Hit him and duck. It's that easy. You fight him again later on in the dungeon, but uh, it's not like it really matters. It's such an easy fight. You're not going to have any problems with it. Unless you actually have the Deku Shield, in which you will have a problem with it. Because... Then you won't be able to duck. And then I'll say, Ha! Huh, I told you. And you'll go, oh, Ryan, I should have listened to you. And I'll say, yeah. Yeah, you should have. So right here, you can actually find a Deku, a Deku merchant, a business scrub, who will sell you Deku sticks, which is what you need to complete this little puzzle right here. So grab a Deku stick, grab the Deku stick and put it on fire, and then just bring it to these torches. It's not that really complex a puzzle, honestly. And open the door right there. And continue on in the dungeon. Now right here, make sure not to jump off before you hit this switch, because if you jump off, like I have before, you will have to go through that whole area again. Now just head over to the left side of the dungeon, where we will be entering actually a much longer part of the dungeon. That was like maybe a third of the dungeon, no, not even, maybe that was a quarter of the dungeon right there. So here we have a little staircase. What we're gonna do here is actually, no, not yet. Bring that there, blow up the wall, and see what's in here. I'm pretty sure there's like a map or something in here. Oh, and live, live statues. These are called Armos. These are actually really dangerous things right here. Come on, blow up. No, get back here. No, come here. I need to kill you. Come on. Jeez. All right, so... Come on. Come on, blow up. I need you to blow up. No, blow up. There we go. And now he'll spin around and... Oh, jeez, no. And that will open the door, but it will also get him out of the way so he can open this treasure chest. Now, it's either a map or a compass that's in this chest. Oh, it's the compass. All right, fair enough. Now we can see things. Perfect. So let's just exit. Grab a bomb. You can see this little ring, I guess, ring of sorts of bombs. So just take another bomb, put it in the middle, and watch sparks fly. Jeez. I remember that being really cool when I was little. That was like, when I saw that happen, I was like, whoa! What did I just do? I, I did that. But now, now I'm just like, you know, just take the bomb and put it in the bombs. So, let's just head up this little f false staircase here, I guess you could call it, and just go around. I'm pretty sure there's pots right here. One of them has like 20. Yep, I was just gonna say that 20 rupees in it, and I'm gonna take my slingshot because we're gonna need it right here for the 16th Golden Skulltula. First hit the first one, and then hit the Golden Skulltula, and all we'll have to do now is climb up to it. And now we won't be seeing another Golden Skulltula until right near the end of the dungeon, which isn't really that big of a problem. Now there's one this like one more room until we go back to the middle room I guess you could call it the hub of sorts 
Get out. Get out of the way. Oh, I thought that was a live one. I was just like, get out of the way. Come on. No, it was actually a stat. What just happened there? What? What? That, that, that scared me a little. Glitches. Glitches happen in old games like these. Glitches happen in new games, too. Jeez. What am I saying? So here we are. Back in the main room, just on the second floor. We're gonna cross over at the top floor. It's pretty insane stuff, if you ask me, buddy. Pretty insane stuff. So, now we are in another room where there's lots of... <sighs> Do you have to interrupt me every time? God damn it! Stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. Alright, so now we can just pull out this block right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb on top of it. And climb on top of this. And here we'll find a treasure chest with, I don't think much. Much is in it. No, just a 20 rupee. And I'm gonna grab this. Hopefully I can do this first try. Ah, oh, god damn it. This better not be a montage like earlier in the episode. I swear to god. There we go. You're gonna try to ledge that, to wedge that into um, the ladder and the little ledge right there. Let's just continue on in the dungeon. Take out your flare, your fairy slingshot. I am really messing up with my words today. Continue on. And uh, you know what? After I kill these, I think I'm gonna end it off here to continue in the next episode. Because the next episode is actually, we're going to be fighting another mini-boss. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Goodbye.